Hi, this is Gary with Mac Most Now. On today's episode, let me show you how you can trim audio using QuickTime Player. So in episode 647, I showed you how you can use the QuickTime Player in Lion to edit video. Well, you can also do the same in audio. You can trim audio. And I get a lot of questions from people that want to know how to trim a little bit of sound off the beginning or end of some audio or to break up an audio file into several parts. You can do that in QuickTime Player. Let me show you. So here I've got an audio file right here. I'm going to just drag and drop that onto QuickTime Player and it will open up in a very simple player interface and I can play it. Hello, this is a test. Now to trim this audio, what I would need to do is go to Edit and Trim. Command T is the shortcut. And now I can see the waveform in here. It's pretty compressed, so I want to grab the right side and drag it over here to the right. So now I can see it a little bit better and it's easier for me to select. To trim, I basically grab the left side there, go to where I want to start, grab the right side right there. Once I got exactly what I want, I click the Trim button. And now I just have that one portion of the audio. Now I can go to File and Export and export out just that one portion as a new audio file. Now say I want to split up an audio file into several parts. Well I've just trimmed down and exported the one part. I can do Command Z or Edit Undo Trim and I get the original back. Then I can go Trim again and grab the next portion. It's a manual process, but it's pretty quick. So you can see here I can actually even use keyboard shortcuts or everything. I'm just going to hit return and that's the same thing as accepting the trim. I can do uh, for export shift command S and then command Z for undo, command T for trim again, and I'm back to selecting the third portion there and return shift command S, export it, etc. So you don't have all the fancy options like being able to export as other file types, being able to adjust the audio, things like that. You just have the basics of being able to trim things. Now this can come in very useful if say you have some audio that you want to bring into another project like say iMovie or using Keynote or even Pages. So it's really good for that. For anything else then you probably want to go into a more advanced audio editor like for instance GarageBand is perfect for that kind of thing. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.